been showing you week after week the Democrats' partisan impeachment is a total farce, their latest attempt to overturn the 2016 election through non-democratic means and to rig the 2020 election because they're worried none of their presidential candidates is strong enough to beat Trump. We've also shown you how the real corruption scandal here is cash for gas. How much U.S. taxpayer aid went to a firm paying Joe Biden's son while Biden was in charge of the aid. That's what needs to be investigated. On top of that, we also showed you last week how the whole fiasco started in the first place with wild stories cooked up by a Ukrainian oligarch and amplified by his lawyers, Joe DiGenova and Victoria Tensing, their client and Fox News contributor John Solomon, and of course, Rudy Giuliani. But this week, we learn more disturbing details about Rudy's role. It turns out that the former mayor's own personal business interests are wrapped up in all this. To put it simply, he's been trying to enrich himself on the back of his relationship with President Trump. And you know what? I'm just fed up with the lot of them. Rudy Giuliani was a great mayor and a great leader, but he's turned into an unmitigated and now it seems unethical disaster. While President Trump has been trying to govern for the American people, all these hangers-on have been trying to make money for themselves off Trump. They're a bunch of chancers, grifters and spivs, taking advantage of the president to do dodgy deals in the world's shadiest places. Before they completely derail this presidency and its substantive historic policy results on China, the economy and much more, it's time to dump these toxic chumps. I've had, I've had enough. I've had a spear.